Goldilocks, and the Panda family. Once upon a time, there was a small house in the most beautiful part of the forest. And in that house lived a girl with blonde curls named Goldilocks. Goldilocks was so cute that everyone loved her so much. But this cute girl could be very naughty sometimes. One, two, three, no! Goldilocks accidentally knocked over the pie her mother prepared for her. Goldilocks, now you'll have to wait a little longer for breakfast, cause I have to cook a new one. And by the way, do not go out of the garden and don't go to the forest without telling me. Be a good girl now, you hear? Goldilocks was so bored while waiting for breakfast. One quiet step towards the forest. I wonder how far I can get before anyone notices I'm gone. <laughs> While her mother was busy in the kitchen, Goldilocks took one step after another out of the garden and into the forest. In the depths of that forest was a very cute bamboo house. A cute and sweet panda family was living in this house. There was a huge father panda, a medium-sized mother panda, and a tiny little baby panda. The mother panda would get up in the morning before everyone else and prepare a bamboo mash with vanilla for breakfast. Father panda woke up to the sweet smells coming from the kitchen. Then he went to wake up his baby. However, the baby panda, who loves sleeping so much, could not wake up. But he could not resist the wonderful smell of mash on his nose and finally woke up. The panda family were together around the table. They started to eat the bamboo mash the mother panda has prepared. But the mash was very hot. Mommy, Daddy, how about we wander around in the woods while we wait for our food to cool down? And we can collect some more bamboo and prepare food for the evening. The panda family left their meals on the table and went out to collect bamboo. Meanwhile, colorful butterflies surrounded Goldilocks, who frolicked this way and that in the forest. How beautiful this forest is! Look at these butterflies! <laughs> Goldilocks continued to go deeper and deeper into the forest while trying to follow one of the butterflies and finally got lost among the huge trees. As time passed, she was both tired and very hungry. She was almost about to cry. But she suddenly saw a bamboo house a little further ahead. She approached the house with joy and looked through the window. She saw three bowls of food inside. She went excitedly to the door and knocked on it three times. The door wasn't locked and it opened when she knocked and Goldilocks was so hungry. Hey, is there anyone here? And there sat the bamboo mash in one large bowl, one medium bowl, and one small bowl. Since she was very hungry, she wanted to eat the bamboo mash in the biggest bowl. But when she wanted to taste it and put it in her mouth, her mouth just burned. Oh, ah! <laughs> this dish is too hot. So she tasted the mash in the medium bowl. And this dish is too cold. Yuck! Then she took a spoonful of bamboo mash from the small plate. Mm -mm. This dish is neither too hot 
nor too cold. Just right for me. Goldilocks ate all the mash in the smallest bowl. She wanted to go and sit by the fireplace to get some rest. Here, too, she saw three different seats. She tried the big wooden seat first. Uh, uh, uh. This seat is very hard and hot because it is so close to the fireplace. She then sat down in the medium-sized pink seat. Uh, uh, this seat is too soft. This time, Goldilocks sat on the little red seat right next to her. Oh, this is very comfortable. But just then, the tiny seat broke into pieces. Oh, no! Maybe I'd better go and lie in bed for a while. <laughs> Goldilocks entered the bedroom of the bamboo house. There were three beds, one large, one medium, and one small. Goldilocks first laid down on the largest bed. This bed is so hard, and the pillow is so huge. So she jumped onto the medium-sized bed, but it was too soft. Then she jumped onto the smallest bed. Oh, this bed is great. <sighs> Let's sleep well. Goldilocks fell asleep in the smallest bed. The bear family, who did not understand how time passed while collecting bamboo in the forest, finally returned home. As soon as they arrived, everyone wanted to sit and have breakfast. But a surprise was waiting for them at the table. Oh, someone has tasted my bamboo mash. Someone has tasted my bamboo mash, too. Bamboo mash. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> the panda family stood up and started looking around. The seats next to the fireplace took their attention. Hmm. Ah, uh, somebody has sat in my favorite chair. Someone has sat in my seat, too. Somebody sat in my chair, too, and broke it. The panda family went to the bedroom with curiosity. Someone has slept in my bed and pushed my pillow to the floor. Someone has jumped on my bed. Mom, Daddy. <laughs> Oh, someone is lying in my bed right now. <laughs> Mother Panda and Father Panda did indeed see someone sleeping in the bed of their baby. When Father Panda lifted up the cover, Goldilocks woke up immediately. When she saw three huge pandas in front of her, she was very scared. Oh, are you? Why are you sleeping in my bed? Well, uh, I apologize for breaking into your house. I had lost my way in the forest and went in and ate some food. Then I fell asleep. Please don't be angry with me. It's not nice to break into other people's homes, little girl. Besides, your family must be very worried about you. Let's take you home. The panda family knew every road in the forest very well. So, they found Goldilocks's house in no time. Mommy! Baby, my dear girl! We've been looking for you everywhere. We've been plum worried. I promise I will never leave the garden without telling you. Goldilocks's parents thanked the panda family for bringing their baby home. Since then, Goldilocks and Baby Panda became very close friends. And now, Goldilocks always asks permission from her mother to visit the Panda family, and she does so often. So she's never been lost in the forest since then, because her closest friend, the Baby Panda, was always with her.